Hey everybody, Mark Silver's 12 here. Oh god damn, I got a hair on my way. And it's been a very long time between episodes because... You know what, screw this is going here. Because I've been doing all sorts of stupid things like college work and... Hang on, let me just change one of my TV. Oh yeah, I just remembered. That's right. My headphones are directly in so I can hardly hear myself talk. Unless... Oh, whatever. Okay, it's just too loud for me to hear. Okay, so yeah. I haven't been making much... Well, I have been making videos, but I haven't been doing this Let's Play recently because I haven't had time to... Oh, there I am again, with the TV controller. Because I've been doing college work and I've been busy with sleeping and holidays and eating Easter eggs. But mostly college work, because I have a time limit. Oh my god. No, of course. Um, oops. <laughs> yeah, I've just been kind of... Oh, this is a brilliant one to talk over. Um, yeah, I've been doing college work. And... And, um, I have posted some video footage of it on YouTube, just not all of it, because it's not technically a game yet, because it's only about 20% done. Meaning that, um, it's... Well, I'd have a lot of content to show because... Well... All there is so far is the end of the game where, we, um, actually I can spoil it. Um, there's a robot in the game, there's, there's actually just four characters so far, and you can only interact with one of them, and he's not complete yet because you sell him CDs, but I haven't actually put in the game yet where you get the CDs except one location, but I'm having some problems with action script because it turns out if you're using... Um, a frame label inside a movie clip, it doesn't understand what a frame label is, so you have to set up some kind of variable telling it what to do, but I don't know how to do that because I'm not smart enough. Ah, <sighs> jeez. <laughs> so yeah, action script is just being gay because this piece of code with the frame label or with the frame number, regardless of what it is, doesn't work because in this location, but it works everywhere else. Because what I'm trying to do is say that when a movie clip's frame number gets to a certain number, on this frame, go to scene, I don't know, scene 4, um, frame 6 or something random like that. And whenever I do that, it's like, uh, what's scene 4? You know, I'm just gonna go to scene 1 by default because I'm stupid. I'm like, dude, that's just, that's illogical. What? So, all you have to do is go to scene 2 and go to a frame. If I put 1, 1, it just ignores the, f the last number and goes to frame 1 of scene 1 by default. Because it's stupid. Anyway, enough of my ranting. Let's go defeat Cuckoo Condor. Why can't I hear the audio in the right ear? You know, screw it. Just, just screw it. Okay, just for synchronization, I'm in front of the game item shop and I'm pressing up now. Up! Okay, I seem to have a. Yeah. I'm against Cuckoo Condor. That's, um. Oh, that's a bird. Do dogs eat birds? Hmm. You know what? I'm saving my coins for something a lot more important. Wait a second, this is hard mode, isn't it? This is going to be hard. In super hard mode, you have to use one of these in order to defeat the boss. Otherwise, it's impossible. Unless, of course, your name is Swordless Link. Because I think he's done it. Or am I thinking of someone else? I think he uploaded a video of someone else doing it. Like a twist as a speedrun. Or maybe I'm just thinking of someone else completely. Right. This boss is kind of like comes in two stages, but then they all do. First, of course, is claw down a few times. You think, derp, this is so easy. Because if it grabs you, it puts you into these chainsaws and then you get hurt. But then he starts from these stupid chainsaw discs. And that starts getting annoying, but you think, yeah, I could just jump over it. And then he starts throwing it. Whoa! His stupid chain, um, his electric chainsaw discs in his left hand. What we have to do is just run under the claw and hit him. The first half of the phase. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, crap. 
Oh, phew, I got lucky there. Oh, this is the hard part. You have to catch his eggs and throw them at him. If his ducks... If his eggs hatch, you're in trouble. Because his ducks chase you and explode. And he lays about a duck a second. This thing is full of eggs. This thing is such a village bicycle. Right. He starts getting faster, as you can tell. And he gets faster at the last two hits. Oh, sweet, I'm getting pretty lucky. DUDE! Oh, crap! No! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Oh, great. No! Okay, just wait till he comes back. It's okay. Dude! I was really trying to concentrate there. <sighs> I'll see you guys back where I just was. Okay. Okay, I'm back, guys. I think. Oh, God, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. You're not surviving. I don't care how endangered you are. No. Ah, die! Die! You really don't want any of these guys to survive because of the example I just gave you. No! No! Ha 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 ha! Oh god, that was stupidly hard. Okay. Okay. Jeez. I really hate that boss. Um... I love the last boss. It's so amazing. And uh, especially the final blow. A pair of lips? Really? I don't get what that's all about. It's like... The last stage of the final boss. It's easy. It's like... It can't even hurt you. But I'm not gonna spoil it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, seeing I have some extra time, guys, if this isn't gonna be a two parter, let's start off the Sapphire Passage with. Ugh, Crescent Moon Village. 